back to our Let's Play of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Part One: White Clouds, Horsebow Moon, Rumors of a Reaper. Last time we were in, we fought Miklan. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlan welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. Uh, after Sylvain's brother turned into a monster, we got the lance weapon from him. Uh, but then we immediately had to turn it back in. I think there's a way to keep it, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't make me happy if you try to, uh, to take it without, uh, permission. If you refuse to give it back. Alright, 5,000. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flame has gone missing. Yes. At that, present, that happened all we too. know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flame is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but uh, over rumors? There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. I've seen the Death Knight, though. There is Knight, no though. way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. So you have hesitation no with sister there in the We will devote the ourselves subtitles. fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flame. The knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. We have your. We don't have time to waste. That's why we're going to wait till the end of the month. Most unsettling. It doesn't seem likely that she's simply gotten lost. I'll help in any way that I can. So, our mission this month is to find her. Well then, <laughs> let us hurry and locate her before anyone else. <laughs> I hope Flame is okay. What would happen if... Just what would we do if... <gasps> you can't think like that, Burn. Sedeth would have a heart attack if he heard you. I've heard that she has a crest. But I suppose for this moment that is irrelevant. Yes, we'll kind start of. by gathering information. Someone must have seen Flame recently. Right. If we work together, I'm certain we'll find her. It's Petra's birthday. Um, just give her flowers. I don't really like the tea parties. They're, they're kind of random to me. Ooh, listen to that music. Alright, let's try the certifications. This, you need to be... What level do you have to be? I don't remember. Maybe it's 15, maybe it's 20. But it's not 15, so it must be 20. Oh, yep, there it is, right at the bottom. Level 20 or higher. You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. You're good. You're good. You're good. 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 Uh, 
I need a I need a seal. Sports, lots of sports. Hubert and Ferdinand. Hmm. With this idea, I may be able to get the one up on Edelgard. This again. Hubert, I wish you would not sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Maybe you would be more perceptive if your mind were less burdened by sedition. Sedition? Absurd. This is an important project. Yes, I heard. A new way to prove how superior you are to Lady Edelgard. She is not your rival, Ferdinand. She is above you. <laughs> a noble like you ought to know his place. <laughs> Anything is better than being a noble like you. Every time you open your mouth, it's Lady Edelgard this or Lady Edelgard that. Do you ever think for yourself? You follow her around like a pet. You spend all of your time fretting over her, and yet you never truly express an opinion of your own. Before you reprimand me, take a moment to consider your own failings. Your nonsense is tiresome, so I hope this will be the last time I have to remind you. Lady Edelgard is the Imperial Princess. You are merely the Prime Minister's son. Yes, I understand that, but my duty is to guide her to give frank advice when she is on the wrong course of action. That is what I strive to do, always. Thus, my devotion to surpass Edelgard, so that if she needs guidance, I will be prepared to give it. If you think it is tiresome to have a mind of your own, you will never be much of an advisor. Hmm. Does the river of filth pouring out of your mouth ever stop flowing? Your obsession with all things superficial is disgusting. It's no use. You're hopeless. I'll take my leave. I have nothing more to say to you. Get out of here. They're C rank friends now. Because that was really supportive between the two of them. Alright. Ferdinand and Dorothea. Ah, Dorothea. The dining hall seems so much brighter with you here. Ferdy, I must say you are quite adept with flattery. Please, give me some more. <laughs> Flattery? No, I was not... Uh, there you go with that attitude again. Why do you reserve such cold treatment for me and me alone? Do you hate me, Dorothea? Or have you some other reason to avoid my company? I underestimated you. I assumed your noble upbringing had dulled your perception. Harsh. But you got it right on your first try. I hate you. Oh. Huh, I was right. Might I ask why you find me so despicable? I can scarcely guess. Don't waste another minute thinking about it. That will not do. I do not think you would hate a person for no reason. Hmm, perhaps. How's this? If you can guess why, I'll let you know if you're right. The brains of us common folk are so simple, it should be pretty easy for a big shot noble to sort out. <sighs> Very well. I cannot walk away from a challenge. I have no choice but to chance a guess. You are always making fun, calling me a big shot and so forth. Perhaps you think all nobles are... No, it cannot be that simple. Oh? <laughs> what can't be that simple? Uh, please, will you not give me a clue? Well, let me see. A good clue? I know. It's because you're like a bee. That ought to be enough of a clue. Right. So long, Ferdy. A bee? I haven't the slightest. Perhaps because I am such a diligent worker? I, I'm sure that's not it. 
and Dorothea and Yuri. It's time I fessed up, Yurikins. I saw the whole thing. Yurikins? What was it you think you saw? It looked like you were singing to the children in the alley out back. And may I say, you were fantastic. Your performance hit me right in the heart. That was a song from Middle Frog's Imperial Capital show, right? Ah, the good old days. You must have come back night after night if you remember it that well. Perhaps a few times. I remember well how you looked upon that stage. You were the talk of the capital among all the nobles. Unsurpassable? Yes, that was it. It's hard to believe I'd run into that unsurpassable songstress in a place like this. <laughs> Luck is on my side. <coughs> I couldn't convince you to sing tenor yourself, hmm? You're talented enough for it. What are you getting at? Is this an invitation from the mystical songstress herself? Male virtuosos are hard to come by. Would-be divas are a dime a dozen, but men? Not so much. And they have to be talented. As good as I am, which is very talented indeed. I think you have what it takes. If you're interested, I can... Sorry, but no. No way in hell am I ever doing that. <laughs> Goodness. You could have stopped at no. <laughs> I can't think of anything more wretched than getting up on a stage to sing in front of a bunch of people. You didn't seem to mind singing for those children. The little ones weren't feeling well and couldn't sleep. So I sang them a lullaby to help. That's a far cry from standing on the same stage as you have, with all of those stuffy nobles staring at me. Truthfully, I'm not brave enough for it. Rain it in, Yurikins. It's the opera, not the battlefield. This isn't a life or death situation. <laughs> Fair enough. Sometimes I forget what's a real threat and what isn't. But I must ask you to never bring up singing again. Not to me. Not if you want to keep things amicable between us. Okay. How can someone that good at singing hate it so much? That is an interesting question. Okay. Alright, let's explore. Hi, Sophus. Oh my. Just one small girl who's gone astray has caused all this. We cannot let this stand. You must do all you can to find out where she's gone. Uh, that's the plan. Now ask around to see what information you can find. Come now, no time to waste. What do we got? No stone unturned. Looking for reliable. Okay, special delivery. Herbs for the house. Peculiar trend. Oh, yeah, the peculiar trend, right. Right. Okay. Um, sorry. My brain got distracted for a second there. Let's start with Abyss. end of the road, but he stepped around a corner and out of sight. I think he used some kind of secret passage. Interesting. Let's keep that in mind. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Someone's gone missing up top. And guess what? Because of that, this backup guy is still here. Ah! Can't catch a break, can I? The investigation may be over, but I thought it best to stay by your side a bit longer. You hear that? 
Mr. Backup is here voluntarily. I guess that's okay. He's actually not so bad. Right. First the nice, then some monk. Now a teacher? Church setting up a punchline for a joke or what? Uh. You, genius. You're a teacher, aren't you? Should ask who the monk was. Monk and knight and a teacher walk into a bar. Need something. See you again soon. Uh. This way. Constance. As soon as word spread of Flame's disappearance, the knights burst into abyss. We tend to be the first suspects when these things happen, you see. I suppose it's little surprise when there are shady characters always coming and going. I suppose. Always gotta be on the lookout for lost items. Hi, Happy. What kind of scumbag would kidnap poor Flame? <clears throat> she must feel so scared and helpless right now. Oh yeah, she knows okay. something about. Uh... Not really. I just know what it's like to be in that situation. Right. Exactly. I was kidnapped once, you know. Hopefully, we get her back safely. You're looking for someone? Huh? Raskin Yuri. He's good with stuff like that. I'm better at hitting things than finding them. Honestly, I didn't even know Sedith had a sister. If you figure out where she is and need some muscle, just holler. We all have our strengths. For me, my strength is my strength. Very clever. Looking for flying? Some knights came looking a bit ago, too. I did some of my own hunting, but didn't find any promising leads. I even had some of my people search for her throughout the underground. No avail. Think about it. The monastery is some thousand years old. Who knows how many hidden passageways exist? She could be here, or anywhere, really. Hmm. Good point. Kind of a dour way of looking at it, but good point. What's back there that's all green? Ooh. I could use those. Right, I think I'm done with this for now. Alright, let's head top side. See what this person wants. I hope you're up for a challenge. Deliver a letter, it's no address, but there's one person who's working the hardest, uh, not very upfront with his true feelings, and has an adorable way about him. Okay. What's the name of that quest, by the way? Story. Right. Did you hear about Flame? It's just one thing after another this year, I swear. Some of the lower ranked knights are searching for her in the town. If they find anything, I'll know. Okay. I'd like to do the tournament, but I don't need to do too much uh, support stuff. Just 
keeping an eye out for stuff. Nothing. 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 Hey, clean up, Lindhart. Data. What's up next? Please, not in here. Uh, uh, I guess I have to let you in to prove it, don't I? Be nice. Oh, well, she's not in here. There, see? No one's in Bernie's room but Bernie. Maybe Blaine just wanted to be alone for a while. Have you considered that? Come to think of it, where is her room anyway? Um, I don't know. A little bit of fishing will get that up, I think. All right. Got flower seeds, plum seeds, and vegetable seeds. Finding any missing items. Professor. Yes. Smithing stone. Herring. A trout. Insect larva. forget it only gives a tiny bit well antique clasp on someone who's not up to trends hey there professor did you want to talk uh what's that professor greetings professor today there is quite a bit to report there is a masked individual who has been going into town every evening and not returning until the following morning. You see? Nothing gets past this guard. I doubt it has anything to do with Blaine's disappearance, but... Well, better safe than sorry, I always say. Yeah. Alright, I can Hello buy there. stuff here for now. This one, yes? I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. So I'm gonna do be doing quite a bit of fishing, as I you think can see. This one, yes. I think mostly off screen, so don't worry about that. This one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. This is where all my money's gonna go. This one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I thank you. This one, yes. I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. A pleasure. 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 You have a good. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure. Come again. Thank you. 
Shamir is a good bow. Shamir is very good with the bow, so we're going to accept her help. <sighs> to think that Flame would disappear like this. Sadath must be worried sick. I haven't much to go off of, and perhaps it's out of line for me to feel so uncomfortable. But something has been bothering me for a while about Gilbert. I feel as though I've met him somewhere before. I also noticed him staring intently at Annette once. Hmm. That's only because he's her father. That's kind of a red herring to try and... Silver necklace. A, doubt, a devout believer. Mercedes? Someone who cares for combs. Ferdinand? Oh, combs. Uh, horses. Ferdinand? Professor, hey! Ferdinand's always by the horses. This might be the first time I've ever seen Seteth look so worn down. If poor Flane was lured away by anyone. I personally think the clear suspect is that miscreant from Dusker. Those people are deceptive by nature. Uh okay. Agricultural survey. Young noble who owns territory. That could be for that too. Probably belongs to someone who has a hard time cleaning. Uh, I don't know. That that oh that I, I remember. Young it's Marianne. disappearance is most troubling. Okay. These guys don't have much to say this month. Hubert. If Flane has been taken hostage, then we know she is alive. At least for now. There would be no point to abducting her if simple murder was the objective. That's only logical, Professor. I suppose so. Flame just disappeared. I don't like it one little bit. Oh, are you here to see someone? Here to see you, actually. Alois and Shamir and all the knights are gonna head into town soon. I believe this is yours. Thanks, Professor. Whoa. I can only imagine how worried Sedith must be, but. Isn't mobilizing the entire order of knights a bit excessive? I was originally assigned to investigate those reports of the death knight in the town near Garrett Mock. When I think how many more victims that dastard might claim while we're all busy searching for Flane. <sighs> I'm sorry, that was insensitive. We're all under a lot of stress right now. It's important that we find her quickly. Right. I just wanted to see something. Creek comb. Hmm. Let's see. Hi, Annette. There have been a lot of rumors swirling around lately about a death knight who kidnaps people from the nearby town. You don't think Flame was. you know. do you? Um and whether the rumors are true or not, I just hope our flame is safe. I 
Tomas. What is it? Is something the matter? I see. So, Flane has gone missing. I will do what I can to support the search. Thank you. Professor? There's going to be anything down there. I guess I should have said we can't rule it out with a net. This is kind of cold, though. And... Personal. I don't know. Still not found any leads regarding Flane's whereabouts. I have looked everywhere. Not even the knights on guard have seen anything of note. Uh, we'll find her together. Yes. Let us work together. It reassures me to have you by my side. May the goddess protect dear Flane until she returns to us. Uh, let's see. Sport. Rhea. May the goddess. Uh, have a couple owl feathers. task than you may think. It makes you wonder who designed such a titanic compound. There are fragments of records remaining from its original construction, but none of them name an actual architect. Right. Well... Bundle of herbs. Hey, Marianne. Dear Goddess, hear my prayer. Please watch over Flame. Please protect her. Uh, I like like I said, I think uh, this. Yes, you. this is mine. Thank you for returning it. You're welcome. Um, may I ask? Uncle Herbs, that will need where house horse have safely delivered Marianne. You may find what you need growing in the Queen House. Gotcha. Need something? This one? You're all set. I'll see you again soon. I need to talk to the counselor. If I can get to her. Stop running into walls. There's two notes. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do something else at the same time. Okay, everyone treats me as a child. That's, uh, that's Lysynthia. Um, The next one, the drawing of a broken vase. Uh, I'm sh sure it wasn't your fault. I think that's Cyril. Yeah. All 
Alright. See if there's anything out here. How to bake sweets. how the sinister music plays even when we're in the church. That's how you know things are serious. Hey. Like Claude and Hilda. Here you Impressive. Go. Nice work. she be? If it were an ordinary kidnapping, you'd think there'd be a demand for ransom or something by now. I don't like the sound of this. I bet Blaine ran away. She couldn't stand being held back by Sedith any longer. I can empathize. I know what it's like to have an overbearing big brother. Yes, yes, always about your big brother. Silver brooch, someone involved in the opera. That'd be either Dorothea or... Manuela. Hello? We must begin our search for Flame, Professor. If she ran off of her own free will, that's her business. But that may not be the case. For her sake, I suggest we assume that she was abducted and begin an investigation. Who benefits from kidnapping her? Let's gather all the information we can on anyone who's been acting strangely. I have a favor to ask. Survey the entire monastery, and yet I have not found a single trace of evidence that suggests Flane was abducted. Perhaps we must seek out personal recounts rather than physical evidence. In any case, we must hurry before something terrible happens. Maybe she was kidnapped by somebody she knows that lured her I've away. I the monastery is full of secret passages. If there is no sign of Flane's departure, it is possible that she used one of those. Whatever has happened, I hope she is all right. Me too to do. Me too. Spotless bandage. Someone slacking in their training. Hilda? I don't know. Where could Flame have gone? Do you think she's really been kidnapped? I hear Tomas has been going around asking about her. But he's probably just worried like the rest of us. Though it wasn't just Flame. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. Hmm. If Flame were taken hostage, I expect we would have received demands from the culprit by now. Perhaps this is not a kidnapping at all. Do you suppose she could have simply run away? I suppose so. If that is the case, it is unlikely that we will find her anywhere in the monastery. Wait. Let's look around here. The brilliantly named Amiibo Gazebo. No, I haven't seen her. She's been abducted. Oh, you're looking for her. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. I just recently learned she has a crest. Did you know that, Professor? If it was a particularly rare crest, I could imagine Professor Hanneman would have quite an intense interest in her. Oh, no, I'm not accusing Professor Hanneman of abducting Flane. Are you not? Sound kind of sound like you were. Hmm. 
here. We'll fly. Seeds. Hello there. Young Flame's disappearance is most troubling. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool. That's who. Well. Flame's crest, the major crest of Sethleen, is rare. But there are others who possess it. Alright. Uh, awfully defensive, Hanneman. kidnapped or what I just know that flames in trouble that's it I can't keep sitting around I gotta go find her yeah, where do I start All right, I have something of Ingrid's to think that flame would disappear like this I haven't but some I also it was the yes that's mine yes. thank you I forgot she uh, likes horses too. The only problem is she's not in my house, so sometimes you forget. Let's go up this way. Nuts. I've only ever spoken to Flame a handful of times. She always seems so naive about the ways of the world. I'm worried about her. Uh. Yes, I'm afraid so. I just hope she comes home safe. Do you really think Flame was kidnapped? Uh, she must have been. I have a feeling you're right. We really need to find her and quickly. Okay. Hey, Petra. Flame was childnapped. That is what you are thinking? And the villain is inside our monastery? Hmm. I must have admittance. One person has been catching my eye. Oh. Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Mm. Her movements are being reminders of... No. They remind me of warriors of Bridget. Before she was here, what was she getting up to? That's a good question. Dorothea? Hey, Professor, have you seen Manuela? I saw her running off somewhere in a terrible hurry. I wonder if it has anything to do with Flame's disappearance. Do you know, Professor? Oh, yes. Didn't you know? She was the senior diva in our opera company. Okay. Lost items. I'm sorry. Oops. No. How did you know I lost this? Thank you for bringing it back to me. Unused lipstick. Out for someone who likes wooing women. Professor. Sylvain? Professor! I saw him. A knight wielding a gigantic scythe. He was just like the rumors say. It was the day. I just know it. You don't think Lane's disappearance. Good. Okay. Oh, cat's walking across my computer again. Hi, Mercury. Hello. Stop. My computer, Mercury. You're gonna un. Oh. Uh, those. All right, sorry. Uh, we are looking for Flame's kidnapper. But I do have suspicions about Yuritsa. About how he's handling his blade lately. It seems more than usual. It couldn't hurt to try. At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with Catherine at the training grounds. 
Okay. Still going to have lion next month, but with things the way they are right now. At any rate, I hope they find plane soon. Right back.